Hello! My name is Atetic, and I am going to be playing Fire Emblem Awakening. It's been a while since I've played Fire Emblem Awakening last. Um, I tend to play every Fire Emblem game, or replay every Fire Emblem game once a year or so. Uh, give or take a few months. Fire Emblem Awakening is a game I don't usually play as often as others, but I want to get back into it, and I want to give give it a good, good old try. Uh, except for the fact that I hate Lunatic Mode. Um, I think it's by far one of the worst balanced difficulty settings in the series. So I'm going to play on hard, so I don't hate myself. I, I think hard is a little bit on the easy side, but it's, it, it's fun, and you can do fun things in it still, so we'll give it a try. And of course, I, I prefer to play on classic. So uh, yeah, the first thing we have to do is make an avatar. I tend to go with male avatars just because I don't really care either way, but, uh, you know, I don't really care about pairing female Robin with Krom and stuff like that, so I just go with a male avatar. And I like to make my avatar look as silly as possible, so usually Build 3 is good for that, and Build 3 happens to have a closed eye face, so that works out pretty well, and then you have the hair that goes up like that. I think it's called an updo, but I'm not I'm not sure because I don't really know the names of hairstyles, so it just goes up. That's what we'll say. And as for hair color, I like to pick something that I don't know, something that just looks off somehow. Like uh mm, I feel like this one is kind of weird. That minty color that looks like faded blue hair dye. Seems good to me. And for voices, my favorite is male three. Thanks. You're welcome. And then for my name. Well, hmm. Names are always difficult for avatars, but uh, since Robin, his death will trigger a game over. I want him to be sturdy, so I'm gonna name him after the sturdiest thing I can think of. There we go. Joy-Cons are pretty unbreakable and well-made, and Nintendo makes them really well, so we'll go with Joy-Con. I'm sure that'll work fine. And then for the birthday, I like to pick my own birthday, which is August 27. And for Acid and Flaw, um, I remember that it has to be either uh, speed skill or skill speed to be the best Robin, so I'm gonna flip a coin and say asset um, skill and then flaw speed. That sounds correct. Premonition Invisible Ties. This is the cutscene where Krom fights Faladar for a bit and. Wacky magic is being thrown around back and forth. And also Robin is here somewhere, but I don't see him, so we'll just skip. This is it. Alright, our final battle. And let's kill this dastard. Let's do it. We're gonna start off by Uh well, this is Horiel. We'll just skip that stuff. Alright, so uh wait, wait. What is this? Toy Fulgen. One might. What the hell's tree? They usually have a silver sword. What the hell is this tree ranch? Peek up a. Shake that Joy Con till it breaks. Uh oh. Oh crap. Tree branch. Uh, did my awakening file get corrupted? That's... Hmm. Well, I... damn, I, I don't know. I guess we just have to roll with it. I mean, I don't see another option here. I'll set my settings and then we'll see how it how it goes, I guess. I don't, I don't see how we can fight Validar with a tree branch and whatever the hell peek up a pow is. It just sounds like a super weak thunder tome. I mean, I know that the tree branch 
the log, the ladle, the slack bow, <laughs> the neater are all just bad versions of, you, you know, sword, lance, axe, etc. But there aren't usually those joke, those joke tones don't exist. So where the hell did Pika Papau come from? And why am I supposed to shake my Joy-Con? Ugh, great. What are you... Wow, so Krom dies in three rounds. That's that's wonderful. And then... Yeah, same deal with Joy-Con. Okay, so I guess we gotta pair him up. We don't really have any choice. Alright, well, this works at least. That's something. Let's see how this goes. Maybe Krom will dodge? No, okay. That's fine. We don't need him to dodge. We just need him to uh, keep on attacking. And then the premonition will be beaten. Pretty easy. And since this is just the premonition, once we get to the prologue, I'm sure we'll have the real weapons right after this bad dream is over and after we launch his cutscene. Oh no, he's doing a thing. There's a big twist. We're gonna skip this though. I've seen the story a bunch of times, so there's no need to watch it over and over again. Let's let's play the prologue, the verge of history. This is when we get our our actual weapons back, I'm sure. Crom, we have to do something. See? Joy-Con is waking up from a bad dream. I don't know. And once we're awake. I see you're awake now. There. It's because we were sleeping on the ground. We just there are better places to take a nap than our we just had to wake up and everything's fine, right? Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine at all. Crom and Joy-Con still have garbage weapons. Um, Crom's vulnerary was replaced by a sweet tincture. Frederick has a log, and Lissa has a neater instead of a heel staff. I, I don't even know what to say. This is this is absurd. I guess we should review the units. I mean, we'll start with with Joy-Con. Um, Joy-Con's one of the best units in the game, if not the best. The issue, though, is that uh, Nosferatu, I don't even know if that exists anymore in this version of the game. Probably not, right? It's too powerful. It had to be replaced with something. And yeah, I mean, it's probably still a really good character, just probably not the probably not like the best by far, but still the best. So I'm going to rate him five stars. Then there's Krom. Uh, he's also five stars for sure, but he's not as good as Robin. He's just like really good, but not outstandingly amazing. Problem is, he's stuck with a Toy Falchion instead of the regular one. Now, the Toy Falchion just has one might, so that's going to be a problem, and I guess the tree branch is a little bit uh, has a little bit more accuracy to it, but and I guess the Toy Falchion still has dragon effectiveness, so that's something. Uh, Dual Strike Plus is pretty cool, though. It's It comes in handy. Especially in the early game when you're pairing Krong with Frederick. Um, speaking of Frederick... Definitely really strong, Jagan. Uh, he's stuck with a log, however, which not sure how good that's going to be. I'm guessing he'll still um, he'll still fight really well. He just won't double a lot of enemies and won't one round them as a result. Uh, discipline is pretty much useless because if we only have E rank weapons, then weapon, weapon experience really doesn't matter that much. An outdoor fighter is nice, though, I guess. So we'll, we'll give Frederick a four and a half stars. And there's Lissa. Um, yeah, the Neater is like the worst staff in the game by far, of course, and I think it's going to heal like three or four HP with our current magic of five. Um, miracles, not something you want to rely on. So overall, I think this is not going to be very good. Uh, she normally is good, but I suspect that she's not going to come in very handy in this particular playthrough somehow. In any case, we, I guess we just got to do what we got to do, you know? So, Krom, I'm going to pair with Frederick and then send them both this way and just 
attack this ruffian. That'll be... That'll be, uh... Pretty productive, I feel. And I guess we can just send... Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, whatever. He knows magic. We get it. I think I'm gonna just put... Drakon here and... Get this ruffian with a peek up a pow. I have no other choice. Rather use thunder here, but don't have it. So, and then Lissa has some safe spots here where she can just stand here safely without dying. So that's good at least. And Joy-Con will. All right, we're gonna just crit this ruffian apparently and not kill. And um. At least Freddy run around this guy, so that's pretty good. If I was playing on Lunatic, these guys would have iron weapons, and this one would have, uh, I think, an Elwind. So that's not... It's good that we don't have to deal with that, at least. And there's a Sparkly here, so maybe well, there's a chance we'll get a good weapon or something. Who knows? I certainly don't have any idea what we'll get, but moving along here. I'll kill you. Try to get a level up on you before the end of the battle and move Freddy up and finish this guy off before he gets dangerous. There we go, that's one hit and then another. Thank you. I would really like to see Krom chip in a little bit more with dual strikes, but uh, there's no helping it, I guess. Yeah, so uh, Lissa heals 3 HP with the Neater, so that's useless, but we'll do it anyway. And, um,. See what we get from the sparkly item. What? Disrobing Gale? Excuse me? I gotta look at that later. Uh. Christ. I know it's Helica's Gale, but I don't know if Disrobing Gale. What is this? A poorly written tome from the Nor region. One might. Oh my god. Not this, not this again. Uh, Alright, well, I guess we have a bunch of one might tomes that we can use. This is, this is really bad, but here, you have that for now, I guess, and we'll top you off. And I guess we should probably turn off healing animations, because <laughs> she's going to be healing a lot. All right, then um, let's use Disrobing Gale since it's more accurate, I guess, and hope it doesn't have the disrobing effect. It shouldn't. Wow, okay, magic, luck, and defense, neat. And I think Frederick will just use him to kill this mage because he's the more dangerous of the two enemies here by far. There's still another Sparkly in this map, so there is hope that we'll get a good weapon. But, um... Somehow I got the feeling that we will not. Okay. Listen. Yeah. Let's, let's just see what we have here. Um, could do that. Alright, I got it. We'll ship with Disrobing Gale. Oh, all right. Frederick is going to... That, that is definitely strategy, yeah. Frederick has 11 log uses now, because... Yes. All right, well, we get experience from clearing gravel, which is lovely. I, exactly what we needed right now. All right, well... How much crit do you face here? Ooh, that's... Well, you, you do die, yeah. I mean, you don't die, you were left with 1 HP, actually. It's not that bad. Hmm. Well, I think what I'd rather do is hit with this log and not face any crits. Or, you know, there is crit chance, but it's zero damage, so uh, zero times three is zero, so it doesn't actually matter. And then we're going to keep Krom, um, Robin, or Joy-Con nearby. With Lissa. Eh, we can just pair her up, it's fine. 
and just see what happens here. If Frederick crits, then he crits, but if not, then that's a kill for Robin. That's not too bad. Let's go with the 100 hit one. That feels a little bit better. Nice. What do we get this time? HP, skill, speed, defense, resistance. Cool. Pretty good. Six turns. That's uh, something. Anyway, we save the town of South Town, which is in the south. And uh, now we can focus on going north towards the North Road, I think is what it's called, because this is a place with good names for places. Let's 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 try chapter one, right? Let's let's see how we can do with chapter one. Chapter one is an easy chapter. It's called Unwelcome Change. And they're camping out, they're eating bear meats or whatever it is they do. And uh, they are walking on wooden pegs because they're awakening characters. Mm. And then there's an earthquake. Lisa, run. Where running is apparently the safety measure for an earthquake is, is to run as far away from the ground as you can. That helps a lot. And then Frederick was checking on everybody and making sure they're not hurt, which they are not, fortunately. All right. Then we learned about forts. All right, so Frederick, I'm going to pair with Krom. I'm going to put Krom here. And I'm going to... Um, I guess do this. Unfortunately, Krom takes damage here, but... Uh, it's fine, because it's, it's just one damage. We'll live. And we get a Sparkly, so... Krom gets experience. That's nice, right? And Lissa, I want to keep out of danger, but I also want to get this thing, so what I'm going to do is, uh... I'll keep her out of range of the enemies for now, and then I'll put Joy-Con by himself here. With a tree branch equipped, and that should be fine, because the enemy has... I think that's a sword. I can't really tell, though, with the Awakening, uh... Are you kidding me? <laughs> I got another tree branch. <laughs> okay, fine, I guess. I... That's actually not too bad, because we can give that to Frederick. I guess. I'd rather get, you know, an actual weapon, but... Here we are. And that, that's uh, some damage, at least. We can move... Well, alright, let's, let's see this first. Sully's here. She has, hopefully, an actual lance, and she wants to shove it up some Risen's dash. And then there's Furion, I guess. Thank you. Flirting with a person when there's a bunch of enemies around, of course, because he's a good character. Alright, I guess we should review Sully and Virion. So Sully is, I think, the better of the two Christmas calves, slightly. She has better lands rank, and she's carrying a log, and, uh, She'll be useful, probably. Um, if anything, if nothing else, she'll give movement bonuses to people when they're... Well, not right now, but when... Uh, later on, I guess. She'll give movement bonuses to people that she's paired up with, so that's nice. And Virion is just the worst character in the game. Just even worse than Donald. Like, his skill plus two. Like, come on. And he's carrying a slack bow. Just more like garbage bow, am I right? You can attack from a distance, but I, five damage, wow, amazing. And Sally does more damage with the log, six, see? Still, though, we could pair them up together and have her get some extra attack from the extra strength that, that Virian gives her. So that's not too bad, at least. Let's go for this attack. Since it... Respects weapon triangle advantage. And Furion even chipped in a little bit. That's not too bad. Alright. And I guess we can have Krom and Freddy here doing stuff. And such things. Cool. 
Mm. Yeah, we should pair Alyssa with Joy-Con at some point just to protect her. But for now, let's have Joy-Con go here. And, uh... There's an archer here, so I think I'm going to use a tome to attack. Just trying to decide which one. We'll use this roving gale, I guess. And then Lissa will give him extra magic as well. I'm pairing up, so yeah, that works out. That works out pretty well, I think. Let's let's uh, set the plan in motion here. Now, now he does enough damage to kill this this enemy. Beautiful. We're working with what we got. So that's good at least. All right, almost almost another level and D rank weapons, but uh, D rank tome rather. So um, if we ever get a, an actual tome in the future, we'll be able to use it well. Wow. Okay, strength and uh, strength and luck. That's that's certainly a level up that exists. And Sully can uh, do a little bit more damage there. And even more bullying Sully for no apparent reason other than the fact that she's holding a log. And all right. We might be able to kill the last enemy with Virian, or one of the last enemies here with Virian, but I don't really know why we would. Uh, there's also this hand axe guy that's kind of obnoxious. Well, I think the first step we should take... We're not going to attack this person because he can already do three to us. We're just going to shoot some wind at this bow. Archer, risen, fine guy, whatever you want to call him. And um, then we'll kill him on enemy phase. Right? Yeah. As long as we stay out of range. Which we will. And over here, I think Sully will just kill you. It's easiest. Great, great. And then... Hmm. If you switch to Frederick, that's better. But I think what I'd rather do is grab the tree branch from Krom and attack with that instead. Yeah, that's good. That way we don't waste all of our log uses, you know? Since clearly we need to conserve those, except for some reason. Oh boy. Well, Joy kind will, will kill this archer at least, so... It's, luck is on our side, and since we picked... Well, I guess we didn't. We, we picked, um... Plus skill, minus speed. So we, no luck isn't on our side at all. Alright. Now there's just the boss and this random person, which we can kill an enemy phase easily. So I'm going to focus on the boss. Yeah, let's focus on the boss. So I think what we'll do is start by having Frederick chip you down to 14. That's a pretty good, a pretty good move, I think. And, oh, okay. Krom defending Frederick when it doesn't matter at all. Thank you, Krom. And then Joy-Con will, uh... You do nine, and then... Your hand does five. Okay, that's perfect. All right, so, uh... Let's go with Disrobing Gale, since we need the extra edge with the hit rates. Ouch. And then, uh... We switch and attack with Varian. And then we just give a boss kill to the worst unit in the game. Sounds good to me. Alright, thank you, Varian. Very good. Last enemy will die. Nice. And yet another level up for Robin. Okay. Uh, I'll, yeah, that's progress. Well, all's well that ends well, I suppose. I'm a bit concerned about the integrity of all this, the files that I download from the internet, but, um... Well, we need to see this young man, yes. Of course. You're a very brave young man. Thank you. 
These people are the stupidest people in existence. Anyway, that was chapter one, and um, uh, in the next episode, I will do chapter two, because that is how chapters work. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, hopefully we get good weapons in the next episode. Goodbye.